Greetings. In front of us are two universal axis routers from the Baro. On the left you have the Pro AC, and on the right you have the Tiny AC. And what's really cool and unique about these two routers is that they can connect to any kind of broadband internet service you may have. So on the, on the back of the router you have Gigabit Ethernet WAN ports in order to connect to a fixed broadband connection. On the front you have USB ports which will allow you to search in any of 300 different kinds of mobile broadband, USB modems, and MiFi's, or mobile hotspots that we support for 4G and 3G. And then the third kind of connection we support is a, a neighboring Wi-Fi network using a feature called SpotBoost. So SpotBoost allows you to connect the router to other Wi-Fi networks, yes. And we also support, on both routers, home automation. So on the front of the router, you can connect into the USB port a Z-Wave stick, for instance, and that will allow you to connect to control wall plugs such as this one. Now, to bring all this together wonderfully, we have put together a mobile app for both iPhone and Android. So in front of me is an iPhone here, and I've connected the phone to the Wi-Fi network belonging to the router and I then proceed by opening up the app there and the first thing that you're encountered with is the router's address so it was automatically detected because it's on that network and then the username you insert is admin and the password is password now, I've saved all that just to for sake of time constraint I'm, I go to the profile which I've created there it goes admin and password log in and the first thing that I'm encountered with is on the info page all the statistics regarding the router in terms of connection, signal strength, uh, what kind of connection it is. Here it's using Spotless, it's another Wi-Fi network, full signal there. Uh, if it was 4G, you would see the signal there as well. If you're using VPN or not on the, from the router, uh, it has its own VPN client. We'll also show there. And then uh, since I'm using home automation, I've manually inserted the GPS coordinates and that helps the router figure out what time of day uh, the sun rises and sets. Based on that, it can determine what time of day it should turn off and turn on lamps around the house. And I can do that manually as well. I can go to automation. I can click on on. And voila. Off. On. And I can also control things like the internet, so off there, and that will put up a firewall in the network, and it can go on. And, uh, you know, for instance, if you are gone on holiday and you forgot to switch off the internet, you're worried about any hack attacks, you can, from outside your network, click on off. But it will still leave the router in communication with you. And uh, let's see, on the top left here, we have Wi-Fi tethering, and that's the SpotBoost feature I mentioned earlier. So we go scan Wi-Fi, and that will find you a list of all the Wi-Fi networks nearby on both 2.4 and 5 gigahertz, as these routers are dual band. And then from there on, you just select one, and here, see? And if you're prompted for a password, you just insert it there and push verify. And if there is no password, just push verify. And it'll ask you, do you wish to save uh, this because it confirmed it? Say yes, and then it'll restart the router and uh, get online with that. And then there's also the map uh, based on the GPS coordinates showing where the router is located if you have a number of routers that you are uh, controlling. And then there's... Uh, log out if you want to switch to a different router or you can log out there on, on the top right yeah, like that 